These days, we often get confronted with failures in projects, especially large projects. In this video, I will explain why projects often fail and how project management can help you structure a project and avoid failures. Projects often fail for several reasons. Poor communication, such as not interacting within the team or include all stakeholders. Lack of planning, such as not taking dependencies between deliverables into account. Losing sight of important details. An example of this was a ship that was too tall to go under the bridge next to the shipyard. Using the wrong tools for the job, such as everyone using a different CAD system to build the same aircraft. Lack of monitoring and control. Checking during the project that you are still on track to deliver on time and that your project still meets the requirements. Lack of risk management. Have you identified what could go wrong and anticipated for this? And changes in scope. When during a project, a small change is required that ends up affecting the entire project. So how can this be avoided? Let's start with the formal definition of a project, as defined by the Project Management Institute. A project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service or result. In this definition, a project is always temporary, with a stated objective of when something is finished or done. And the project ends after commissioning or completion of the created product, service or result. Any subsequent phase of continuous development over the lifetime of a project, or process in this framing, is an infinite collection of subsequent projects. Even in continuous development, outcomes must be met by certain deadlines. And a certain amount of temporariness is also present in continuous development. In a project, you would typically find the following five project management processes. The initial phase of the project, where you set goals and identify your stakeholders. The planning phase, in which you define scope, roles and responsibilities and create a plan. The execution phase, where you allocate and manage project resources and build the project or process. And often in parallel with the previous, the monitoring and control phase, in which you monitor progress and compliance to plan and where optimization, testing, error resolving and revision takes place. Finally, in the closure phase, you deliver or commission the product or process to the stakeholder, including all reporting and documentation. In this context, project management is the application of process, methods, skills, knowledge and experience to achieve specific project objectives, according to the project acceptance criteria within the agreed parameters. That brings me to the so-called Iron Triangle of Project Management, consisting of time, cost and quality. All projects are limited by these three factors. If you adjust one of these factors, they will always affect the other two. When working on projects, it is important to keep this rule in mind. 